I told you guys, I told you, I told you, I told you, if they did not implement any type of security at this college, that this was going to officially happen. Hello, everyone. This is your host, Joel Davis. Welcome to another edition of You Guessed It, Joel Davis uh, Media Network. Man, a oh man, oh man, oh man. This is crazy right now, dog. Uh, it seems like that Columbia University has now become the blueprint for when spoiled, entitled college kids goes wrong and with that being said i'm about to share you that particular information right now if you haven't heard last night that these young kids took over the dean's office for the school and now since they have taken over And now since they have taken over the dean's office, they are now making demands. Um, and let, let's, let's just say it this way. It, it's not looking good for the demands they're asking for. So we're going to go into this article right quick on Fox News. We're going to talk about what other kids, what is going on. What discomfort? Wipe plus treat equals better relief. Wipe. Talk about what's going on in um across the country and other colleges, what people have done to stop this madness, and we are going to go from there. So here is the first article discussing this. Columbia protesters take over building on campus roughly 12 hours after deadline to disperse. Now, dozens of anti-Israel protesters at Columbia University in New York took over a dozen, took over a building on campus early Tuesday, barricading the entrances and unrolling a Palestinian flag out of a window. Video footage showed protesters on Columbia's Manhattan campus locking arms in front of Hamilton Hall, where the office of the dean is located early Tuesday morning and carrying furniture and metal barcades to the building. Organizers made a post on an Instagram page shortly after midnight, urging demonstrators to protect the encampment and join them at Hamilton Hall. This comes after the university gave a deadline of 2 p.m. Monday for students to gather their belongings and leave or face expulsion. I mean, a face suspension. The university said Monday night it began issuing suspensions for students who failed to leave. Now, this is where it gets more interesting. We're going to go right back to now the recent news of what they're saying at this university. Columbia University threatened students occupy Hamilton Hall with expulsion. Now, here we go again. Columbia University officials warned students, uh, protesters on Tuesday, that those currently occupying um, Hamilton Hall face expulsion. Now, in a message emphasizing that the top priority for the university is safety, University officials said that the anti-Israel protest will not be allowed to disrupt the work of the university in violation of school policies. We made it very clear yesterday at the work of the university cannot be endlessly interrupted by protesters who violate the rules. Continuing to do so will be met with clear consequences, spokesman Ben Chang said in a statement. Protesters have chosen to escalate to an unintentional uh, situation, vandalizing property, 
breaking went breaking doors and windows and blockading entrances and we are following through with the consequences we are outlined tuesday he continued students occupying the building face exposure chang added that the protests were warned their actions violated university policies and said participants were given multiple opportunities to leave peacefully anyone who respected university policies would be allowed to finish the school year those that did not have now been suspended those students will be restricted from all academic and recreational spaces and may only access their individual residence seniors will be ineligible to graduate change said this is about responding to the actions of the protesters not their cause the disruptions to campus activities and threatening environment directed at jewish students combined to a hostile environment on campus in violation of title six the university said now i'm also about to play y'all some clips of people acting the fool throughout the u.s recently they had to deal with ignorance today they had to spray pepper spray now you got kids acting up in harvard and yale harvard and yale uh not only doing arrest but they getting ahead of the problem but what's crazy to me is is that while all of this is going on columbia university i hold at fault I mean, I'm just gotta be honest about it. And I'm about to tell you why I hold that fault. Okay? And, I, and I'm gonna break this down to my personal opinion while I hold them at fault. Columbia University had the opportunity to do like New York University did, get the cops involved, uh, eradicate that encampment, enforce the rules by saying, hey, you're not only going to get arrested, but you're not coming back to my campus because now you have taken the privilege of having freedom of speech and using it as a tool to be doing terroristic activities. You're stopping the process of other kids to get an education. And I think that is what's going on with all these colleges. It's been an indoctrination that's been going on now with Hamas for years see this just didn't happen overnight this has been a groundwork and now these young kids that always never really had to get it out the mud mommy and daddy's taking care of everything you know they don't know any better they just going by what the media telling them the propaganda of the media now i'm saying that palette there's, there's not palestinian civilians that are good people that's not a part of this uh, Hamas BS or Jewish hatred that is getting destroyed for no reason innocently. No, I'm not saying that. I'm quite sure they are innocent people on that line, on that side that are getting destroyed. But I'm also saying that why in the world are we trying to support a terrorist group like Hamas? Though? Because Hamas has been known to hurt others. It has been known to commit violent acts. It has been known to destroy people. I mean, we've seen it up front. I mean, look what they did to Israel the first time. Now, again, I'm not giving Israel a pass on killing civilians over there at the Gaza Strip. There was a lot of things that could have been handled differently at the Gaza Strip. They should have secured where the civilians could have got a chance to get medical care, to get taken care of immediately. I just feel like that Israel is right now very hell bent on revenge. But we already know that Israel and Hamas have been beefing for almost over 100 plus years. This is nothing new. But I do have a problem with our young people focusing on things that's going on in overseas that is not our control. We did not start any war with israel and israel we did not help israel start any war with palestine palestine 
Hamas followers over there decided to go and mess with Israel. They brought a lot of this on themselves. A lot of this, this, this pain, this, this, this karma on themselves. Let's get that straight. Number two, Hamas don't even like half of you Americans over here that's fighting. Y'all, you young kids out here talking about pro Hamas. They don't like y'all like that. The Palestinians is not do not feel America like that. If you go over their country, they will have you enslaved, convicted, and in a jail cell for no reason immediately. And let's just say you learn the culture and do everything to their standard. Guess what? You still is not going to get the respect that you deserve because you're still going to be known as an American first. So why do y'all support a group of people that hate you? I don't get it. And then taking it out on Jewish people. Don't y'all think Jewish people been through enough, damn it? They done been through the Holocaust, and now we're going out here and we're trying to target them over a group of people that don't give a damn about Americans anyway? Man, it just make it make sense. That's all I'm saying, because right now it doesn't. But anyway, with all of this rash of pop-up of all these high protests, all over the country on these universities, not just Ivy League schools. Now I'm just saying that I am glad that a lot of other uh, universities are not allowing that. Example given Florida's um, university, aka Florida Gators, they already said, hey, you can protest and you can you can um you know say your opinion, but you start getting anti-Semitic, you start trying to disrupt class, doing the camp man acting the crazy, destroying property, putting your hands on somebody. We're banning you for three years, and we're putting you in jail and charging you for ter terroristic threats. Same thing with the faculty. And I'm cool with that. That's what you're supposed to do. Hold them accountable. You want to protest, you got to protest in an accountable manner, in a responsible manner. Shout out to Charlotte, North Carolina. That removed everything off their campus yesterday when things was going off even though they just experienced tragedy in that town which i will be talking about later on tonight on my show but anyway y'all jump in the comment section tell me what y'all think about what is going on with this whole hamas situation do you think that these students have every right to act like this or do you think that people are looking at this uh uh too much or, or not really uh, uh, understanding the movement. Please like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. I'm out.